Hi, I'm Paulina Perez, and I'll be talking about spiders, also known as RNA. So I'll be introducing spiders, and then I'll be talking about their habitat and food resources, their evolved traits and tree of life, and importance of spiders. So spiders fall under protostomes, which is a group of animals that had their first embryonic opening, also known as a blastopore, form into a mouth. They also have a schizocelum formation, which um, Britannica Encyclopedia states that is a ca body cavity between their digestive tract and body wall that formed from the mesodermal embryonic tissue. They also have pre-programmed embryonic cells, which basically means that um, these cells already had a function slash fate assigned to them when they were formed. And a fun fact, from the National Geographic is that there are, uh, there are about 45,000 species of spiders found all over the world that range from barely an inch long to being over a foot long. This is the classification of spiders. So they fall under the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Arthropoda, the class Arachnida, and the order Araneae, which has two suborders, the Mesothelae and the Opisothelae. So about their habitat and fruit food resources. So spiders tend to live in a variety of environments as stated by the National Geographic. Whether it's hot, dry, or cold and wet, they are found almost everywhere ex except for extremely cold places. They are all, also mostly carnivores if, that feed off of insects by either setting webs or, or using their hunting skills. This means that they have a predator prey relationship with insects. However, they can also feed off of other larger animals such as birds or lizards. And here's this, a short video of a spider hunting. So it's using its web to trap the prey and then going straight at it. Okay, moving on. The evolved traits and tree of life of spiders. So some unique characteristics of spiders is that they have pedipalps. Um, they produce silk that comes off from their spinnerets, which are located at the end of their abdomen. They have two body parts, the cephalothorax and their abdomen. And they also have chelicerae, which is the most distinctive characteristic of spiders. So a Researcher at Australian Museum, Dr. Gray, stated that the silk function has evolved over time. So the silk used to be used for protecting eggs, and it is now used for hunting slash trapping their prey. Um, they also used to have their spinnerets under the, the middle of their abdomen instead of having it at the end, as we can see it now in the diagram. And um, Britannica states that Chelicerae is the first pair of appendages that either has claws or fangs that is used to hook onto their prey among other functions. And pedipalps is the second pair of appendages and they have a very similar function as a chelicerae except that male spiders use them to transfer sperm. So those are the functions of the pedipalps and the chelicerae. Britannica also states that another major evolved trait in arachnids is that body segments were either lost or fused. In this case, um, spiders had their head and their thorax fused together, which is now known as the cephalothorax, and we can see it labeled in the diagram right here. So this is um, their location on the tree of life. So they are invertebrates under the phylum Arthropoda and fall in between crustacea and other insects. So the importance of spiders. So in a study conducted by Anna Kajak and her colleagues, it was found that um, spiders limit the population of insects in their ecosystems, which has also shown to limit the damage to the plants around the ecosystem. Additionally, um, since spiders feed off of insects, they can act as pest control in our gardens, which is how they are beneficial to us. The company Ortho that specializes in pest exterminating products states that 
spiders can get rid of insects like mosquitoes and wasps, which can be really annoying to have in our gardens. And that's it for my presentation. Here's a nice picture of a spider and here are my citations. Thank you.